Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you've upgraded to macOS 11.3 or any of the release betas so far, you'll know that sideloading has been blocked on the Mac operating system for M1 Apple Silicon Macs. Here I'm using one of the methods that I've explained in the past, which is using iMazing to extract the IPA file. And as you can see, it's going to fail when trying to install the Genshin Impact app. I've also tried the Apple Configurator 2 method of sideloading apps, and unfortunately that's not working either. Therefore, it seems like the writing's on the wall for sideloading on M1 Apple Silicon Max. However, there is another method of sideloading, which I'm going to show you how to do now with Genshin Impact as an example, and that's the Rick Pactor method. I'm going to link to this in the description, and if you click on the top right hand side of the screen now, then you'll get to my Rick Pactor tutorial as well. But I'm going to demonstrate how to do this for you now with Genshin Impact. So the first step is to go to the appdb.to website and then link your device, which is the top right hand corner blue button of the screen. And then you have to type in your email address. So when you click link your device, you'll be given a pop-up and you will download this mobile configuration file. So when that file is downloaded, just open up the file itself and then you'll be prompted to open up system preferences. So once you go into system preferences, click profile and then install the appdb device link and then type in your password here. So the next step is to install Rick Pactor. So just follow the link in the description and then we click on the download for free section here. We'll save the actual file and then open up the DMG file itself and then move it into the applications folder. So in order to download a Genshin Impact, all we need to do is to go to the appdb.to section and type in Genshin Impact into the search engine. And then on the right hand column here, we have several options for installing various versions of the app. So I'm just going to use this particular one at the top here. So just be warned that these particular files have been submitted by community users. So we're not actually sure what the actual status of those apps are. So just be warned and use this at your own risk. So once we've queued up the application, we just need to check on the view device status page. This just gives us a list of every action we've queued up. And then all we have to do is find the Genshin Impact one and then click on the install via Rick Pactor link. So this will trigger a new tab to load. And then when you open Rick Pactor, it will begin the download of the Genshin Impact app or whichever app you selected at that point. So once the download and installation is complete, the actual application will open and verify, and then it will copy itself into the applications folder and automatically open for you. So as we can see here, we have the Genshin Impact logo and it's going to ask us for our login details. So as you can see, we can actually log into Genshin Impact just fine on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and we have successfully sideloaded the application. So normally what I do is make sure that the settings are correct. I have to change the control settings to controller. I'm going to be using my Xbox One wireless controller to control this game. And uh, as you can tell, it's all working very nicely. I've set the frame rate to 60 frames per second, and we're back to normal. So one of the cool new features of macOS 11.3 is the ability to emulate controller support using the keyboard and trackpad. So on the Genshin Impact preferences and the app menu, what you can do is open up this new game control section and that allows you to emulate controller support. However, I found that the keyboard and trackpad presses weren't quite mapping correctly to the gamepad emulation. And I'm not quite sure what's causing that issue. I also tried touch alternatives as well. So this is another feature which allows you to control the screen using the touchpad if you hold down the option key. Just remember that we have to change the controller settings within Genshin Impact back to touchscreen. This seems to work okay, but it's not really an alternative to using a controller. So in terms of uploading applications, we are actually able to upload multiple types of applications to AppDB and then install them in the same way onto Rick Pector. So I've done this previously with the PPSSPP application and you can do other ones too. You can also completely uninstall the AppDB Rick Pector linking to your computer if you feel nervous about it. All you have to do is go into the profile section under system preferences and remove the manage app device links on your computer. This will remove any link between AppDB and your device. So it's good to know that at the end of the day, even with macOS 11.3 blocking sideloading, we're still able to sideload applications like Genshin Impact. I hope that the developers of Genshin Impact do actually release a native M1 Apple Silicon Mac 
support of the game. It solely deserves one. It really, really deserves to have proper keyboard and mouse support. And I hope that we don't have to rely on side loading and that more developers bring their apps natively to the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I'll be putting a bunch of this information into the Apple Gaming Wiki website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. I've also been working on the compatibility list that you see in front of you now. If you'd like to help and contribute, please do so. I'll be leaving a link in the description. We are recruiting editors and moderators at the moment, and we're also running a big Parallels Key giveaway. If you have any questions, please join us on our Discord and you can send me a message directly. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.